An Indian origin scientist, Ankur Gupta, has developed a revolutionary battery technology. This innovation can charge phones and laptops in just one minute and fully charge an electric vehicle in 10 minutes, a process that usually takes 8 to 10 hours. Plus, you might have noticed in today's phone batteries that their performance decreases over time, the charging time increases, and they start discharging quickly. This happens because modern smartphones use lithium-ion batteries that only work efficiently for about 800 to 900 charging cycles, or simply for one to two years, after which their energy storage capacity drastically declines. This decline in efficiency is a major issue for consumers, leading to frequent battery replacements and increased electronic waste. So how did they invent this new groundbreaking technology? While working as a scientist and professor at the University of Colorado Boulder, Ankur Gupta solved the big puzzle that had been preventing the world's scientists from creating a fast charging battery for the past two to three decades. Do you know what that puzzle was and how our Indian origin scientist made a significant breakthrough here? Well, this in itself is very fascinating. The scientific community was astounded by this discovery, and it opened new doors for future research. Ankur Gupta's work has not only revolutionized battery technology, but also inspired many young scientists around the world. After this breakthrough, we can now turn a commonly used component in almost all electronic devices into a battery. I'm talking about capacitors. When you buy a capacitor, the shopkeeper demonstrates its working by quickly inserting it into a switchboard, which produces intense sparks. This shows that capacitors, like batteries, can store electrical energy, but do so in just a few seconds, making them strong contenders for fast charging battery technology. However, before using them as batteries, one major flaw needs to be solved, the biggest puzzle in the battery industry. Just as quickly as capacitors charge, they also discharge just as fast, meaning their energy density is quite low, which limits their use as a primary energy source. Researchers are working on improving this aspect to make capacitors a viable alternative to traditional batteries. About 200 years ago, a surprising discovery led to the invention of battery technology, which we will discuss shortly. But you know what? The beauty of science is that it constantly brings new evolutions to fix problems. In 1780, an Italian physicist named Luigi Galvani observed dead frog's legs twitching, thinking they produced a special type of electrical energy called animal electricity that made them twitch. He demonstrated this in his lab by connecting two wires made of different metals to a frog's legs, causing them to twitch. He believed he had made a unique discovery However, when he showed this demonstration to his friend Alessandro Volta, a physicist and chemist, Volta immediately identified that the twitching was due to the use of different metals. To prove his point, Volta replaced the frog legs with a piece of cloth soaked in salty water and generated the same current, which led to the creation of the world's first true battery, called the voltaic pile. Modern batteries, including lithium-ion batteries we use daily in our phones and laptops, still operate on the same principle as the voltaic pile. Over the years, battery technology has evolved significantly, leading to more efficient and powerful energy storage solutions. Today, batteries play a crucial role in renewable energy systems, helping to store energy from sources like solar and wind power. They are also essential in the development of electric vehicles, which are paving the way for a greener future. Researchers continue to explore new materials and technologies to create even better batteries, ensuring a sustainable and energy-efficient future for all. So, how do batteries work? Essentially, when two different metals are physically separated and connected via a conductive medium like a wire or electrolyte, the charged particles, electrons and ions, from one metal rush towards the other, creating electricity. 
In lithium ion batteries, lithium is less stable than cobalt, so its electrons move towards the cobalt through the wire, powering your phone. When all lithium ions and electrons move to one side, the battery drains. To recharge, external energy from a charger reverses this process, moving lithium and its electrons back to their original side, thus recharging the battery. This cycle of discharging and recharging is what allows your devices to keep running, making lithium-ion batteries incredibly efficient and essential in modern technology. Why is reducing charging time in traditional batteries so difficult? Despite the seemingly simple mechanism, why do we still use only 10-watt chargers for our phones? Even the fastest chargers in the market offer only up to 120 watts of power. The problem lies in managing the transfer of electrical energy, represented in watts, which depends on voltage and current. Voltage indicates the potential difference between the positive and negative poles of an electrical circuit, akin to a slope, while current indicates how many charged particles are entering the device per unit time. If the voltage is too high, the current becomes powerful enough to create electric fields that can cause interference and sparking in nearby electrical components, generating excessive heat. Imagine the impact on your phone or EV. Circuits could burn and explode. This is why increasing voltage or current leads to overheating, posing a major challenge for scientists. Researchers are tirelessly working on innovative solutions to overcome these challenges. The future of battery technology promises efficient energy transfer and safe, fast charging, but it requires groundbreaking advancements. Here's where capacitors can come to the rescue. Unlike batteries, capacitors don't rely on converting electrical to chemical energy and back. In a supercapacitor, the electrolyte already contains dissolved ions, so upon receiving current, the electrodes quickly become positive and negative, storing energy as electrostatic bonds, similar to how a rubbed balloon attracts paper pieces. Supercapacitors can charge rapidly and withstand high voltages without burning or exploding because they store energy directly as electrical energy. Hence, Ankur Gupta and his team aim to make this technology a reality. This breakthrough could revolutionize energy storage, making devices more efficient and sustainable. From electric vehicles to renewable energy systems, supercapacitors offer a promising future for a greener planet. By increasing the surface area of metal electrodes, supercapacitors can store more energy. However, this initially required increasing the size of the electrodes, ultimately making supercapacitor batteries larger. To address this, scientists began coating electrodes with porous materials like activated carbon, increasing surface area without enlarging the electrodes. Despite these advancements, supercapacitors designed with porous coatings still faced energy storage capacity limitations. Even with modern supercapacitors, storing equivalent energy to a single battery requires multiple supercapacitors connected together. This limitation persists because the porous coatings haven't significantly improved energy storage capacity. Researchers are continuously exploring new materials and designs to overcome these challenges. Innovations like graphene-based supercapacitors show promise, potentially revolutionizing energy storage in the future.